Often we bring you a story that's off the grid. This one just made it back on again. The internet in Cameroon has been restored after the government shut it down in January. Our social media producer, Leah Harding, is following this for us, Leah. We've had thousands of messages about this, Jane, both on WhatsApp and on Twitter. It's been 94 days since parts of Cameroon have had internet access, but in the last day, the government issued a statement ordering the web be turned back on. Anglophone teachers, lawyers, and students have been on strike since early December, with some urging peaceful protests to call for the establishment of a two-state federation. Now, Cameroon has two official languages, French and English, but English speakers say they are not equally represented in the government, schools, or in courts, which primarily use French. Then in January, the government ordered telecom operators to cut off the internet access to English-speaking regions in the northwest and southwest of the country. Many protesters and activists were arrested, and some still face the death penalty. Now, the internet blackout was especially hurtful to what many call Cameroon's Silicon Mountain, home to tech hubs and media companies. We talked to several people in Cameroon who had to travel outside of the blackout region to continue doing business. Some of those that we spoke to, though, asked us not to show their faces. Imagine traveling long distance just to check an email. Imagine going all the way just to reply an email that you could just sit in the comfort of your bedroom and replying that email. So it became such a relief for us yesterday that we could get online and get to know what opportunities are out there to get your stories heard, to get your voice heard and how it affected my business. I couldn't work. I had to literally live in the center region where we have internet. And I had the passwords of like seven people where I could be checking their own um, email every other day. So it was a big problem for all of us. We think the government uh, owes us so many explanations. They owe us probably some compensation, even though we know we're not going to get any. But, um, uh, I don't see it as a, it's a first step, yes, but as long as many people, as, as our leaders still remain in, in, in jail, uh, well, there's no way forward. Schools are not going to resume, ghost towns will continue, and we are going to continue with our civil disobedience movement. That I can tell you. Shutting down the internet is expensive. An internet monitoring group called Access Now, they estimate that the shutdown has cost the Cameroonian government at least $4.5 million. The financial impact of the internet shutdown, though, has also impacted those outside of Cameroon. The Cameroonian living abroad, the internet gave me the opportunity to always communicate with my family back home on a very regular basis because internet Communicating with the internet is way cheaper than telecom calls that we had to use for 94 days. This had a very negative impact with my finances because telecom calls back home are way expensive. The UN has condemned the Cameroonian government, saying the bloc is, quote, an appalling violation of freedom of expression and international law. The Free Southern Cameroon Campaign and the Cameroon Anglophone Consortium say the restoring of the internet is a success, but that there's more that needs to be done. The groups are calling for independence and for more peaceful protests. Since the internet was restored, though, the main hashtags now are hashtag free all arrested and hashtag Southern Cameroons. Like I said, we've had thousands of comments on this story online. If you're in Cameroon, you can tweet me at Leah Harding AJE or use the hashtag AJNewsGrid.